Hi everybody, I thought I would do a video talking about what was initially going to be a Project 10 pan. Um, and there ended up being a lot more than 10 pans in here. It's like 30-ish some. Um, basically, I started with this puppy, uh, this blush, which I'll talk about more in a minute. Um, and I realized the toss out, recommended toss out date, which you can see it's like a little jar that looks opened and it says 12 M or 12 months after opening is the recommended date to toss it. And this is the Tarte Natural Cheap Tint in the color Achiote. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The compact is adorable. I got this in a kit last year. It's a beautiful corally color. And I'm coming up on the one year mark. Right there, I got some swatches from earlier, don't mind those. Um, it's beautiful, but I was like, ooh, I better start using that up. I don't use cream blushes as often as I use powder ones. So um, anyway, I realized that a couple weeks ago and I thought, well, I should look through and figure out what else I should start using up before it gets old and then I can just do a Project 10 pan. And as you saw from the box, there ended up being way more products than that. Now, not all of these are products that were set to expire. Some of them are products that I just wanna use up and I thought I would just throw them in here. But um, yeah, I will just show you what I got. The first thing is a body wash by Alba Botanical. Well, I guess it's the second thing since I already showed you the tart blush. Um, and this is in the scent Passion Fruit. I love this brand so, so much. Um, and it's probably down here. I like this very much. I just, now that it's getting like summertime, I like to use like coconut scented stuff. So I'm gonna be using that up. This is also by Alba Botanica. And it is the Natural Hawaiian Hand and Body Lotion the replenishing cocoa butter scent. I love this. I use this all over my body every time I get out of the shower. And um, I, I, I really like this. I would repurchase it, but I got um, another body lotion for Christmas actually from my stepmom and my dad, a Victoria's Secret one that I wanna start using. And so I gotta use this up first. Some, oh, I have one hair product. This is the Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner from Lush. I have a review on it on my channel if you wanna check it out. Um, if I remember, I'll link it below. But it's one that I don't really particularly care for and it's about down here and I really need to use it. I don't wanna waste it. Um, so I just gotta like bite the bullet and use it up. Speaking of Lush, I have the Tea Tree Toner Water. I really like this. This is probably down here. So it's close to being gone. Um, I got a Juice Beauty one that my friend Anna gave me that I'm excited to use and I'm assuming it'll have a better health rating than this. I don't know that I would repurchase this. I liked it just fine, but I think if I remember correctly, when I looked it up, it had, it scored in like the moderate toxin range, which seems unnecessary. So uh, I'll probably stick with a lower toxin one from now on. Last skincare item, as far as I can tell. This is the Burt's Bees Natural Acne Solutions Purifying Gel Cleanser with salicylic acid and willow bark. It is like right here. I don't know if you can see. Um, there's quite a bit of it there. I was using one from 100% Pure. It was like white tea gentle cleanser. I really loved that one. And I just picked this one up because it was cheaper and easier to pick up because I just got it from the drugstore. And I don't really like this one as well. So I just wanna use this up so I can go back to, and hopefully at Ulta, I'll be able to find the 100% um, Pure one that I was using before. Now on to makeup -y stuff. Well, this is kind of makeup -y, I guess. This is the uh, Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Quenched. It's just a lip balm, and I don't really care for it. Um, there's actually, I don't see any like toss dates on these, but I got this like a year and a half ago, and I just figure it's time to use it or dump it. Look how much is left, you guys. I've hardly used this thing, and it's because I feel like it doesn't really hydrate my lips very well. It smells good tastes good, 
but after I use it, I feel like I gotta use it again in like an hour, which if you have a good lip balm, it won't do that. And it also kind of makes me question the ingredients in there, so. Anyway, um, not that everything I'm gonna show you is like super healthy, organic, low toxin. For face stuff, I have this Tarte three, Clean Slate 360 degree creaseless 12 hour smoothing eye primer. Blech. It's a 360 primer. I like it. It's like a lotion-y kind that, I mean, a little bit goes a long way. I accidentally put way too much on there to show you. But it's like one of those kinds that you put on there. It's not like tinted or anything, and it just like rubs away. And I definitely notice a difference when I don't use it. And the toss date or recommended toss is 12 months after you open it. And I got this last summer. So um, I'm guessing it's probably right around here is how much is in there. But a little bit goes a long way. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to use. Mm, what else? I have a couple of foundations. Well, this one is a tinted moisturizer. This is from Juice Beauty. I have a review up on this on my channel as well. Uh, I really like this. I got this last summer. It is the SPF 30 Tinted Mineral Moisturizer, and mine is the color Sand. I like this uh, a lot, but I, there's not a toss date on here, but ooh. anytime some, especially when, um, you know, you're using products on your face, and especially, especially if they are like more natural or lower toxin, you want to, um, not keep them around too long because they're not filled with those nasty preservatives in them, uh, which is great, but it's just something to keep in mind that you want to keep keep them moving, keep them rotating. Oh, I actually have another foundation too. Um, this is the Josie Marin Argan Matchmaker Serum Foundation. It is the self-adjusting foundation. This is in the color medium to dark. This is one I got last summer in a kit. And if you look, it's crazy. It comes out white, but then when you rub it in, it starts adjusting to your skin. And look, can you see that? As I'm rubbing it in, it adjusts to your skin tone. And it's very pretty. Like that's a really super heavy swatch. <laughs> it looks like nasty tan orange, self tanner accident, but it actually is really pretty. And my last foundation is the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. Mine's in the color medium beige. And I have hit pan on it. This would be gone already if it wasn't too light for me. And this is the problem with this. I don't know what I'm gonna do because, tell me what you think. It is way too light for me right now, but I think I might try to use it and then just pack on some bronzer. I don't even know why I'm just watching all this stuff, but um, I don't know. I, I used it the other day and it looked really light. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So the next product is a liquid highlighter and there's a ton of it left. I know I don't really hardly ever use these, but this is also by Josie Marin in that same kit that I got. It is the Argan Illuminizer. Very pretty, very like gold based. Um, you can see that it's really shimmery and beautiful. Just a pearly golden color. The thing is, you just need the tiniest amount. Like if you're only highlighting like in the normal highlighting spots, you just need the tiniest amount. And I'm not somebody who generally uses illuminizer, like mixing with my foundation all over my face, unless it's a special occasion like New Year or Halloween when I'm kind of going for a super glowy look because I have oilier skin anyway. But I need to start using that. So I might be mixing it with my foundation to try to use some of it up. Another liquid highlighter I have is Benefit High Beam. I love this. When I first got this, like I used this all the time. This was the only highlighter I used for months, like probably six months. And it's a beautiful, it has a low toxin rating as well. It, um, it's like got the nail polish applicator. It's got a beautiful pink sheen. And it is just so pretty. Look at that. Gouges. So, the toss out date for this is six months. Eee! I'm gonna try to use that up. And there's still a ton of this left. So, it doesn't smell bad or anything. I, it's hard for me to really even see where it's at in there. But suffice to say, it's, I'm guessing it's at least half full. Eye products, I have this Maybelline color tattoo in the color Barely Beige. 
it is like a pretty like pearly color I really like this but I believe this was limited edition because I never see it but it's really pretty all over the lid and I don't think I'm too far from hitting pan on it but of course I got you know I've got to work my way around the edge I'll be sad when it's gone but I don't really want it to go to waste so I'm trying to use that um, underneath all my eyeshadows for a while till I've gone what else another cream eyeshadow product is by Tarte it was also in the same kit as this I think um, this is the Emphasize Amazonian Clay Waterproof Cream Eyeshadow in the color Plum Smoke. It's a very pretty. And this is one of those things that I totally forgot I had. It's small and so it kind of got lost in my drawer. Where should I swatch it? It's very pretty. Either all over the lid or um, just in the outer corner. Really nice. I suppose you could use it as a liner too. Uh, also for eyes, this is the 100% pure um, long wearing gel eyeliner in the color Blackberry. Beautiful. I love this so, so much. It's a really pretty eyeliner. I love it. So I've been wearing that most days lately. <sighs> There's a lot of product left in here. More than half, I would guess. A little over half. I don't know. I got a ways to go yet though, and this one was supposed to be tossed six months after I got it, and I got this probably nine months ago, so maybe a little less, but it's got to get used up and then it's got to go. Uh, anything else for eyes? Yes. This is also from that same Tarte kit that I was telling you about, the Tarte Modern Eyes Waterproof Creaseless Shadow Liner Duo in the color Plum Berry for the shadow. A lot of purple stuff. So it's going to be interesting trying to use all this up. Very pretty. That's for the eyeshadow. And the eyeliner is Plum Brown. I have it on today. Um, underneath. And really pretty. Just got to use it up because this was supposed to be tossed a year after being opened and we're getting close to that time. Okay, what next? Oh my gosh, look at this watch. It's really smearing everywhere. The Benefit Their Real Mascara. It came in the Sephora birthday gift last year. And uh, I like the way it makes my eyelashes look. The only thing I don't like it. I love that it's got a big old fat chunky wand. Uh, I like the way it makes my lashes look really long and full. I'm wearing it today. Um, at least comparatively long and full, but it's hard to take off. So that's why I don't reach for it generally. So I'm going to make myself use it up. And since it's just a small little sample size, I should be done with it soon. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. Though. Okay. Everything else is a lip product. So first I have a couple of NYX lip glosses. These are the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses. This one is in T Rose and this one is in Beige Pearl. I like these a lot. And these are supposed to be tossed. Oh, I almost can't even read it. The writing is so small. I think it says 12 months after you get it. And I got these probably a year and a half ago ish. It's a really pretty color. But I just gotta use it up. Here is Beige Pearl, which looks so much like uh, Laura Mercier gloss that's it there it's really pretty over just about any lipstick um but i'm trying not to buy these anymore these for the longest time were like my favorite lip glosses yeah, but if i remember correctly they don't have a good health rating so i haven't been buying them at least i've been trying not to um i did fall off the wagon about another one not too long ago it's really pretty what else what other lip gloss this is the tarte what is this? Maracuja Divine Maracuja. I don't know how to say it. Divine Shine Lip Gloss in the color Adored. It's a really pretty milky pink. Um, I don't know if swatching it will do anything. You probably can't even see it. It's just a really baby pink. I like it. I don't like the applicator. That's why I don't use it. I love the formula. It's low toxin. Um, I mean, this is pretty looking, but I don't like the clicky pen types because then 
like it almost always happens where you either have you like you're clicking it and you're trying to just click one or two times but it's like not coming down not coming down and then you finally get frustrated and you click it like a thousand times and then it's like overflowing so that's that there's more lip gloss this is the Stila lip glaze in in the color kitten Just kind of a nude beige color. They suggest you toss it 12 months after opening it. I've had that for a little over a year now, so it doesn't smell bad or anything, but I'm just gonna try to use it up and pitch it. I have, uh, oh my goodness. Okay, more lip gloss. This is why I have try been trying not to buy lip gloss like this whole year. Um, this is also by 100% Pure. It's the Fruit Pigmented 100% Naturally Juicy Lip Gloss. And unfortunately, the sticker fell off with the name, but it's a really pretty, like, peachy pink color. And these are supposed to be chucked six months after you buy them. And I'm about there. Maybe even a little over six months. They still smell good, and they don't taste bad or anything. But it's just really pretty... Um, I love these lip glosses. Actually doing this has reminded me how much I like them. The only negative thing I have to say about it is that it's, um, the wand doesn't pick up very much of it. So you got to dip your wand in there a few times to get it all over your lips. But other than that, they look pretty and they taste good, smell good. And they're 100% natural. This is another one by 100% pure. And this is in the color shimmery white peach. This might be my favorite one. I love, oh, this one I'm guessing is like two thirds gone. This one I'm guessing is two thirds empty. It's hard to tell because it's pretty thick. This one is so pretty. It's just like pink with some silver shimmer in it. At least I think. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't even know why I'm swatching these. It's this one. <laughs> I can't even see. I actually might put some on right now. I love this. Oh, I have one more eye product I missed. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Iced Mocha. I have repurchased this and I love it. I will continue to repurchase it. It's a beautiful taupey color. So gorgeous. It, um, the recommended toss date is six months after you open it and I got this probably more like eight months ago. So, yeah, I think it was before Christmas. So I want to use that up. It's beautiful all over the lid. It's beautiful in the waterline. I have some, uh, continuing on with NYX products, some of these like, I don't even know what you call these, like lip crayon type lipsticks. The Jumbo Lip Pencils. This is in the color Iris. Perate. This is like a kind of a shimmery pinky color. If you can see that, it's right there. It's getting a little washed out, but it's pretty. This one is Soft Fuchsia, which is an interesting name because it doesn't look fuchsia at all to me. What's that one? And then this one is Pecan. Really pretty. And I, the only reason I don't use these Pecan is similar to soft fuchsia, but just a little bit more brown. Uh, a little less pink. It's really pretty. Um, and actually, the other things I have to show you, these are the last. They are also like chubby lip pencil crayon things. Um, I just don't tend to gravitate towards them. I usually just end up using my lipsticks, and I think it's because they define your lips better. But... Um, I've got some nice things that I gotta use up, otherwise what's the point? This also came in that Tarte kit. This is the Lip Surgeon's Lip Shine in Smitten. Like smitten in love. It's a beautiful pink with some purple undertones. And I don't even know how long this is gonna take for me to go through because this comes with a sharpener. I have never sharpened this. So I got a long way to go. I have the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Tint in the color Enchanted. You've seen me talk about this before in a video. Very pretty, I like this. Uh, I tend to use it more in the fall and winter. 
It's kind of a pretty berry color, but look, it twists up. Look how much I have to use. Oh, I don't know how long this stuff's gonna take me. We'll see. Then the last product is the Tarte Natural Lip Stain Pencil in the color Charmed. It's a pretty pink. I don't like this one though because I didn't realize, I didn't look at it closely enough, I didn't realize it was a stain. I don't like lip stains very well because the color goes on like that, but then it changes as it dries. It changes to kind of a weird, that's why I've hardly even used it as you can tell. It changes to like a weird shade of pink. Anyway, there's a ton of that left. So that is everything. I There was a couple of things that I was going to, I thought I was going to use for this, but um, I think they're way expired. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Glow Bronzer. It's a loose bronzer, has a good health rating, but um, it apparently was supposed to get tossed three months after I opened it, and I didn't realize that. So, And I could only really use it last summer because once I get more pale, it doesn't work for me anymore. So, but it was inexpensive, so. And then this is just a crazy old, I don't even know why this was still in my drawer, but um, this is the CoverGirl. It's like an eye pencil, it's a brown one. And I've had that for probably two, two and a half years. So I there's like no toss date on there, but I'm just gonna assume it's old and gross. So, and I never use it anyway. So thank you so much for watching. I'm not planning on doing a hard no buy. I'm for sure gonna do a low, low buy. I really do wanna focus on using up stuff so that way I'm you know, not just continuing to like hoard stuff and have this huge collection that never gets used. So anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you are doing a project pan and I will come watch your videos or we can encourage each other. And then let me know what kind of videos you wanna see, how often you wanna see updates. Um, or like if you want me to do like weekly makeup basket videos. Um, once I realized uh, the last couple of weeks I was gonna be doing this, I started watching Project Pan videos and they're just so motivating and inspiring. And I actually recently found a girl's channel. Her name is, it's, her name is Cherish, but I think her channel is Pretty Pistol 86 I'll link it below, but she just recently did a Project Pan. She like kicked it in the butt, she did awesome. So anyway, go check her, check out her channel. Tell her I sent you. I hope you're having a great day. I hope your summer, is, your spring is ending well. Your summer is starting well. And um, yeah, it's about to be the weekend here. So I'm all about the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I hope to talk to you very soon. Bye.